All right, guys, this is what we're making today. The Bartleby Slime by Unicat's Pattern. Uh, Katarine has given me permission to do her pattern. Katarine, I hope I'm saying your name right, so forgive me if I'm not. Um, this is a new pattern just released in the last week or so, or two weeks maybe. It is a, I don't know if she says what level it is. Let me see. Um, so she says it's a difficulty level between a one and a two, one being the easiest and three being the hardest. So it's, she's considering it an intermediate bag. Oh, you guys, you're going to love it. It is not a huge bag, but it's not small. Um... I'd probably call it a schmedium, but it's probably on the small side as opposed to the medium side, but it's perfect for me. I could get a small water bottle in here. I could get my Jordan pouch, my purse pal, um, my hand sanitizer, my eyeglass case. Everything will fit in here perfectly. And then your iPhones will fit in this top one. These two, you could put other things in. And then there's a slip pocket on the inside. And then this is perfect for keys or a little quick cash. You want don't want to pull out your wallet. Just put a little cash in there or a card. And then you can wear it on the either side in the back. You could put a big slip pocket back here if you wanted to, too. Bartleby Sling by Unicats Patterns. This is my first Unicats uh, sew. She gives excellent directions. So go grab the pattern and let's get started. Hi everybody, this is Barbie with Unis Designs. I'm getting ready to do a new pattern for me. And I did get permission from Katerin, I think is how you say her name. Um, she's with Unicat's Pattern. So this is what we're gonna make today. Some of you guys requested it. And so I reached out to her and she was more than pleased to have me do a tutorial. She's also going to release a tutorial, so when it comes out, I will uh, link that in the description below, too. Uh, I always like to support the designers. So the unique thing about this is it's got the three zippers. It's got another zipper pocket up here. It's pretty unique. So um, you'll see what it really looks like before this clip. Um, I'm using silver hardware. Navy one and a half inch webbing. I'm using this navy silver um, zipper tape from Wonder Brown. And what I'm using is uh, some waterproof canvas from Mormino. It's this rose, black and blue roses. It's one of my favorites, I have to say. So that's for the outside. I'll go over each piece, and then I'm just using black um, nylon, Lux nylon for the lining. I know, it's black. I didn't have any blue that matched, otherwise I would have used a lighter blue, but I didn't have anything that, that matched. And I, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not doing it. So, Let's get started. This is going to be a cute bag. I don't think it's huge. Let me see what the measurements are. 10 high by 8 wide by 2.5 deep. So it's not huge, which I love. So let's get going. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me, and I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to start with our small zipper pocket, number one. So on the back of these, you can't see it now that I put the stabilizer, but I put a uh, number one, I numbered all my zipper pockets so I would know what they are. I hope I didn't mess that up, but we'll figure it out. Put a piece of tape on the top. Your uh, interfacing should be on the right side where the curved edge is, okay? Take your tape off. And your zipper tape is right sides down and leave some hanging over on the right side because that's where we're going to add our zipper pull. Okay, 
So just like that. Then, um, add another piece. I'm just kind of reading as we go. Uh, zipper uh, double side tape here on top and we're going to add our piece E small zipper pocket lining and we're going to add that right side down I believe yeah right side down if I can get the tape off mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to have to go get my other tweezers I'm a little worried about using this zipper tape. I had it um, fray before when I did a Louie. I still have the bag, but there's a big fray in it. And I mean, it still works, but um, I couldn't, there's no way I could sell it that way. Let me see, I can't get it off, let's see, all right. All right, I'll just change to a quarter inch. It's easier to get off. Sometimes that eighth inch is great for some things, but man, it's hard to get off. All right, let's do our fall seam allowance. Just kind of finger press that and top stitch. Okay. Good so far. I'm kind of watching my zipper tape. <laughs> All right. Then we need to get the next pieces. Let me grab those. All right, then you're gonna take number two and you're gonna lay that with some double side tape there. I did it before I got on camera because it was giving me fits. You're gonna lay that right sides down and we're gonna sew that together at the full seam allowance. I'm just looking to make sure Turn your piece right side, and, uh, yeah. Okay, then we're gonna turn that in top stitch. Actually, we're gonna pull our lining up first to meet that. Yeah. Pull the lining up in the back to the top of that zipper and sew that together. Okay. You could do it in one stitch, that'd probably be good. careful what I'm cutting on my zipper tape, you know? All right, so that's what you should have. Very cute. Now, on this left side, we're going to add um, let me read that. Turn, your, turn this over and make sure your pocket 
aligns with both sides, and mine does. And then on the left side over here, put a piece of double-sided tape, take your number three piece. Oh my gosh, it came off. I was like, oh dear. And align that uh, on this side. And I'm just trying to get it nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And then sew that at the seam route in the pattern. Good, good. And fold that over and top stitch. Hmm. We don't have our zipper pull on yet. Okay, so that's what you have. So take your next zipper. She tells you exactly how to, uh, long that to make them. Add another piece of tape up here on the top. Let's see if I'm, oh my gosh, it came off. It's a miracle. And lay your zipper right side down, aligning with that left side. Okay. And then we're gonna take lining piece F. And we're going to add another piece of double-sided tape here. And you can clip these if you don't want to use all the double-sided tape. It's really much easier if you use double-sided tape, but you do you. I say that, and then I always have trouble getting the, the backing off the tape. <laughs> and then lay your pocket right side down. Lining everything up so your zipper is sandwiched in between there. Mm, I didn't do that very good, did I? It's okay. There we go. Okay, and let's sew that together at the seam allowance in the pattern. Okay. Beautiful. And then let's top stitch here, I believe. This, these are very repetitive steps, yeah. Let's top stitch here. Piece. We're going to take it. number four and we're going to add that on the raw edge of the zipper. goes on the raw edge matching up this right side right sides down okay 
Then on the back side, also have another piece of double-sided tape, if you dare. Mm -hmm. If you dare. I don't know why sometimes it comes right off and others it doesn't. Does it make sense? Okay, there you go. And bring your lining up to the top, matching the sides. Okay. And then we're going to do the full seam allowance there as well. And then you're going to fold that up and top stitch, I believe. Let me make sure. Hold on. Yep, we're going to top stitch along the top of the zipper. My thread is caught. There we go. Oh my. Speedy Gonzalez. So far, that zipper tape is doing okay. I must have done something wrong the last time. Who knows? All right, now you're going to take number five piece. And this piece has a little um, curve to your interfacing. <laughs> My husband's out there smiling at me outside. He's so cute. All right, now let's put another piece of double-sided tape here on this side and I think when I put my interfacing on my piece melted to itself I think that'll be okay though yeah it did that's funny okay Take number five, and you want to line it up like this, with this curved edge, just like this, as it is in the pattern. And we're going to add that to this side. I know it feels weird. There's no zipper pulled on yet. None. Okay, and then we're going to sew that together at the full seam allowance. And turn it and top stitch here. Hmm. I really like it so far. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, let me get my next stuff. All right, so take your uh, top here, put a piece of double-sided tape. I took the paper off so you wouldn't have to struggle with me. And let's add this zipper. She gives you all the measurements in the pattern along that top. Turn it over. And add another piece of double-sided tape, living dangerously. Mm -hmm. I know, I don't know. Ah, it came off, it's a beautiful thing. And add, this is piece G, right sides down. Uh, yeah, right sides down. Mm -hmm. Oops, I put that on the wrong side. I thought that didn't feel right. So let me take that tape up. You want to put it on the zipper side, goofy girl. It's 
All right. I'm just going to leave it there. That'll be fine. But we want it here on the zipper tape. Mm -hmm. I spoke too soon. Yep. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put our lining right side down, matching the sides. I'm going to take a minute to get right, that And now off. sew that at the full seam allowance. zippers. I thought I had, but evidently I didn't. Okay. All right. Next step. All right. So on the back of that, attach your, another piece of double side tape. thing I've ever seen and pull that zipper pocket up and match the sides and the top of that raw edge okay turn it over put another piece of double-sided tape and then we're going to use our number six pocket or lining this isn't really matched up let me fix that there we go I did a little extra better okay and then let's get the tape off here I can. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And we're going to lay this one, if you see, has two curves to it. This is going to, the curves are going to be on, just laying on there like that, kind of down. And add those right sides down on top of that zipper tape. Okay. And then sew that together at the full seam allowance. Alrighty. And turn that up and top stitch. pockets one two three I love it all right all right so the next step is to insert your zipper pulls so I already did two 
Um, and then I found it easier to just undo the whole thing so you can get it on your, however you put your zipper pulls on. Oops, I had it and then I took it out. Either use a zipper jig or whatever works for you. Do it by hand. Okay, there we go. Be careful on this last one. Um, you don't want to have it go over the top, go outside here. So now you have three. Okay, this next step is, um, I think, pretty important, actually. So here you have your three pockets. Uh, you have one here, you have one here, and you have your large pocket. On each of these pockets, on this side, we are going to stitch a seam, just like she tells you to in the pattern. And I'm just drawing a line so I know where to stitch. Okay, so here's one that I stitched up and over. Here's the second one up and over. And now I'm gonna do this third one. up and over and we will be trimming this off so this is just helping to reduce the bulk it's very smart okay now the key is you don't want to do them together so here i need to pull these two pockets out of the way to do this small one so I'm just gonna do it this way. I've only got the small pocket here. And then I'll pivot and I'll probably just go backwards until I can get out of the bulk. There we go. Okay, so I only stitch that small pocket, what she tells you to in the pattern. Now I'm going to do this um, medium pocket, the second pocket. I'm turn around and go backwards just a little. Get out of all that bulk. So there is my medium. It's probably really hard for you to see, but there's that medium one. And now we're going to do the large one. It's probably a little easier to do because it's large. Still gonna turn and go backwards a few stitches. Okay. Interesting. All right, now let's trim that out of the way. Be sure you're just trimming one pocket at a time. Okay, so that's what I trimmed. It's hard to see. I just trimmed this right here. And I'm gonna do the second pocket, making sure I only have that one. I wish I'd had some blue lining so you could see better. But I don't. Just make sure you're not cutting anything you shouldn't. Okay, so that's what you should have. 
I have the large pocket that I cut, the medium, and the small. Interesting. Next one. All right, so take your piece, pattern piece A, with this front pocket, all the pockets that we just made, and lay it on there and trace the pattern so it matches. So I did that. There's really not much, it's mostly the corners. And there's just a little on this bottom edge, not much. Yeah, perfect. Just a little. So now you have your corners in the main piece. I love it. Now, just for security purposes for my zippers, I'm gonna sew over my zipper ends. So I don't have to worry about anything coming off. And then I can trim these zippers. I don't like to trim zippers like that unless I've done that. I've gone over the ends of the zipper, especially this zipper tape for some reason. Now, because we trimmed our zippers, let's burn those ends. Okay, pockets. Oh my gosh, it's not a big bag. I think I like it. All right, next step. All right, so with that panel that we just created with all our zippers, I'm trying to decide if I want to put um, my tag up here. Let me see. All right, I did put my tag down here. I just went up three quarters and in about an inch. Right there. All right, now lay this wrong side up, and we're going to put, we're going to base our lining together. So, wrong sides together. And we're going to base that all the way around. All right, so we're taking piece B2, which is the lining, piece B2. We're gonna draw a line here and here, just like she tells you to in the pattern. I don't know if you can see it. And then on this left side, we're doing one more uh, line up from this edge. Add a piece of tape on each edge here, and we're gonna fold that up to this line. And same on this side. A little piece of tape there, and we're gonna fold that up. Interesting. She has very good direction, so. And we're gonna fold that up to that line. So that's what you have. You have a fold there really hard to see with the black I'm sorry and then a fold there interesting all right so let's set that aside for a second grab your exterior piece and your zipper and laying it right side up 
ta add tape to this left side. Your zipper is long, so don't be alarmed by that. She wants you to make it long. And we're gonna lay our zipper right sides together, centered. So I'm just moving it so I can see what I'm doing. No zipper pull yet. Okay, so there it is. I have some on this side and I have some on this side. Okay. Very interesting. All right, hold on. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you, I had to go cut a new exterior piece because I didn't cut it correctly. On the pattern pieces, she tells you explicitly, cut right side up on both of these. Cut right side up. So you need to really pay attention to that. I didn't, and so I had to go cut a new piece of that, which is fine. So we did put um, our zipper tape on the left side over here. And now with this piece that's mirrored, just like this, we're gonna take the tape off and we're gonna add that right sides together. So our right side is down. And just get it on there nice and even. So it should look just like that. And now we're gonna sew that together at the seam allowance in the pattern, the full seam allowance. I know, it feels weird, I have to say. Oh, my zipper, my needle is down. I couldn't get my fabric in there, okay. This is my first time making this. I think it's pretty uh, ingenious, really. Okay. Now we're gonna fold those out. Let me read All right, so turn those wrong sides together, your lining piece and your exterior piece. She has you put tape here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, I have them clipped and I'm just holding them so, and then we're gonna top stitch. Getting too much tape in here and I don't wanna gunk up my needle. Perfect. So that's what you have. All right. Okay, step. I'm going to suggest that you read this next section very carefully. So open up what we just did. We created that. Open it up. And so it looks like a bat, she says. This is that zipper. I separated my zipper. So on the exterior piece, add a piece of double-sided tape. And you want just to make sure that your zipper is right side down, about centered, but about the same on each end as it is over here. So I just measured what it was and I have that marked over here. Okay, I know, it's weird. I like it. Now we're gonna add a piece of double side tape over here. Now, over here, <laughs> on the right side of our lining piece, okay, over here, and we're gonna bring that here. I know, it's weird. I love unique stuff though. And we're gonna align those edges. Oh, this got a delivery. Okay, so just like that, oh my goodness. And now we're gonna sew that together at the full seam allowance. Mm -hmm. I know, feels weird. 
Now we're gonna turn that, uh, oh, she wants you to add some tape here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time because we're gonna fold that over. So I'm just gonna add some tape on both sides. <laughs> Very unique process. That's what patterns are about, learning something new. I like it. All right, now let's turn that. Um, yeah, remove the tape. And we're gonna fold that down. It's not easy to do. Let's see. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it right side out and then we're gonna fold it down. Yeah, that's easier. And pull that together. Yeah. And just get it, if you need to unstick it. I don't know, that's actually pretty good. That's what you should have. Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm gonna get that a little better. My lining is good, but this outside got a little too far, so let's do that again. There we go. I'm trying not to pull too much on this zipper tape because I don't want it to separate. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. Nope, I still don't like that. There we go. Okay, perfect. So that's what you should have. I know. There's your lining and there's your exterior. Next All right, step. now we're gonna top stitch this mm. along the zipper. This next step is a little confusing, but she gives really good direction. Okay, so with the lining side up, we're gonna align these raw edges down here. And I'm just gonna clip them. And then we're gonna bring this side over Goodness gracious, it works perfectly. I'm actually surprised at myself. <laughs> and my zipper is all lined up, look at that. So bring this, I'm gonna do it again so you can see, okay? I'm amazed. So lining side up, bring this so these raw edges align. Just like that. Might be easier to use some hair clips. And then the same here, these raw edges align. Yeah. Hmm. It's amazing to me. Okay. 
just like that. Looks like a little TP. All right, next. All right, so put your zipper on, leave it in the middle, make sure everything's lining up, and then take it off the end. I know, it's a bummer, because then you need to put it back on. And if you do, you know, use zipper jigs, do whatever works for you. I just have never really mastered um, putting it on by hand. And this is so much easier for me. So that's what I do. Okay, now it's back on. So it's closed at both ends. Okay, next step. All right, so we, have, we took our zipper off and we have it closed on both ends. Now we're going to reach in there and we're going to grab our lining and remember those lines we drew we're going to fold those lines up so on either side put a piece of double-sided tape and you can put it wherever you'd like i'm just going to put it on the end here This is a little awkward, but it's very doable. So on that side and on the other side. And we're gonna fold those up and just stitch that closed. So I have that side and I have this side. So let's take the zipper tape off and fold that up to the line. Okay, perfect. Repeat that on the other side. And fold that up to the line. And then put those together just like that. And we're going to stitch that closed. And get as, you don't want to sew on your zipper, but you want to get as close to your zipper as possible. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to go this way. Let me get this up there. So here's your zipper over here. Just don't go onto your zipper. And now we're gonna grab our uh, webbing. I mean, wrong side out, sorry, wrong side out. Okay. All right, so there is a, the lining that we just sewed together. I know, it feels weird, doesn't it? Okay. 
now. This is what you should have. So this is our outside, and we're gonna put our webbing up in through there. So let me cut my webbing. All right, so I have my webbing. Take your, let me get that out of the way, sorry. Um, webbing and your uh, triangle piece and clip both sides, your lining and your exterior. We're gonna put our webbing up through our exterior and it should be a tight fit, she says, which it is, and it's not impossible. So bring that up. And I did trim this zipper to about a half an inch. Fire. And then leave uh, whatever you want, half inch, three quarters up there, just like that. So that's what you should have, just like that only through the exterior. Then we're gonna do two rows of stitches. Um, on here. She gives you the directions. Just make sure, I gotta make sure my zipper pull. Yeah, it's out of the way. another row inside that first stitch line. Okay. How much will you use this little zipper pocket? I don't know because I've never had one that has a little pocket like this. But there's all kinds of things you could put in it. A key, keys, cash. I think a sanitizer might even fit in there. We'll see. Next step. All right, so now we're gonna pull that through, leaving that extra there. So we're gonna just pull our webbing through. corners out a little. Okay. So that's what you have. And I did get a little bit of stitching here, so I'm gonna clip that. Probably not necessary to worry about this because it'll be in the seam, but I don't want it. So when I did the lining, I got over here just a little too far, a couple stitches. So there you go, that's what you have. So you have a little completed lined pocket in there. Oh my goodness gracious. I love it. All right, now we're just gonna close this. Let me read through, hold on. All right, so align the bottom and your lining should not be in this portion. So we're just gonna baste that closed all the way across the bottom, eighth of an inch. And I'm just gonna, I went over my zipper too. I like this actually. 
Okay, now we can trim off our excess zipper. And just like we always do, burn that edge. Okay. And that is completed. And you have a completed little, really a good size little pocket. Oh my gosh, all right, next time. Okay, one thing she does say is reach in there and pull the lining up and out of the way for final construction when you add this. So just, you don't have to pull it out. Just make sure it's not in this portion and then make sure your zipper is up and out of the way. All right, so for this section, this is what I love about <clears throat> some of these designers. In each section, they tell you exactly what pieces to grab. So I need my two D-rings, I need my lining piece A, my exterior piece A, my back connector strip, my trim for my um, slip pocket, and my slip pocket. I mean, that is so helpful to get everything out. All right, so take your strap connector, <coughs> excuse me, divide it down the middle the long way and put a half a piece of double side tape. <coughs> now we're gonna fold those lines, long edges into that line. And on the wrong side, let me grab my, uh, here it is. Draw a line that's what she tells you to in the pattern. On from both short ends. Add another piece of double-sided tape between those two lines. in the center okay, and turn it over and draw the same two lines let's see and that this on the right side I'm using something that will disappear And then draw another line from the end, just like she tells you to in the pattern. Very good directions. This is my first Unicats pattern and I'm very impressed. And I don't say that lightly. <clears throat> okay, so this is what you have piece of tape between the two lines that were drawn on the wrong side, and then I don't know if you can see, but I have two lines on each side. Okay, next step. All right, take your exterior back panel and measure up what she tells you to in the in the pattern. Let me pull you down just a hair more here. Um, from the bottom, and take your strap connector piece, and we're gonna lay that right above that line or right on that line. Now we're gonna sew between these two inner lines a box. And we'll pull those threads to the back. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that to the back. Mm. 
it started to skip that corner stitch and I wasn't having it. Okay, hold on to your threads. And pull that to the back and we'll tie those threads off. Okay. This time they were about the same length, so I didn't worry about evening them up. Okay. Burn those threads. And that's what you should have. Now we're going to add our D rings on either side. And we're going to stitch down this line and do another little box on the end. So I'm going to start on this end so I can back stitch this one. And come over. And then I'm going to just go backwards because my D ring will be in the way. Perfect. Okay. So there's one, and we'll repeat that on the other side. I love it. That was that second line. That's why we drew that second line. My line's about to disappear. <laughs> okay. And now that is complete. So you have the option of putting your sling on one side or the other. Now, she talks about doing some rivets. I think I will. Okay, so I did uh, cut, uh, punch my holes, two on each side, and I did put a little fray check there. And then I am also putting an extra piece of stabilizer. Since this is just water resistant canvas, or waterproof canvas, I should say. So I'm gonna add just an extra little square. I think there's some right in this spot on the actual connector, but I'm not taking any chances for this, come, this to come loose, so. Just added an extra piece. And then I'll go press these. So that's what you should have. One on this end, and I put it pretty far in so I don't want to get my binding on. I don't get in there on both sides. I'll go press them. So take your slip pocket. I think it's piece C. Uh, no, piece C is the one and draw lines down each side like she tells you to in the pattern. So I'm trying to get you so you can see. And put a piece of double side tape and we're gonna fold those sides into that line. Somebody else does their slip pockets this way. Um, I like it. And do that on both sides. The long edge. And then we're going to fold that wrong sides together and sew 
across the top. I have a cup of coffee here that I gotta move because if I don't, it'll be everywhere. All right, let's sew across the top, just a basting stitch of an eighth of an inch. We're just getting that sewn together. So it doesn't come apart, not the sides. It's tempting to do the sides, but don't do it. piece and I'm just using a, this piece of uh, waterproof canvas divide it down the middle and put two pieces of double-sided tape down each long side and we're gonna add that just barely on that line and then fold the other side on top covering that raw edge. Okay, and now we're gonna stitch that on. And then if you have any excess on each side, just trim that off. Which I do. Not much, just a little. Try not to cut your pocket. Okay, perfect. Next step. All right, so find the center of your pocket just with a tiny little mark and the centers of your lining, top and bottom. And measure up from the bottom center where she tells you to in the pattern. And I'm gonna use my so Tight Magnets to keep this in place. So I'm just gonna put one here and one here. And then I'm gonna add my Pocket centered. And then we'll sew that on down each side and across the bottom. <laughs> And back stitching at the top. And that closes the sides up. If you haven't got uh, purchased any of the so tight magnets, I mean, I don't get anything from you guys ordering them. I just uh, love them. They are so helpful with fabrics that you do not want to uh, put pins in, and that's hard to clip. Okay, there is our pocket. Love it. Next step. All right, so now take your constructed back panel with our connector piece and the lining piece that you just finished. Attach those wrong sides together and we're going to base them in place. All 
All right, so make sure you have your centers, which we already should have. Um, take your triangular strap connector, find the center, and we're gonna add that on top with the zipper portion up. And we're gonna baste that in place. And this is why it was good to have that pocket out of the way. You don't need any extra bulk there. So let's just base that on. So that's what it should look like. So this now is completed. Love All right, it. so now we're gonna do our zipper gusset. So you have your zipper tape, and I have my exterior with my um, stabilizer. And we're gonna lay our zipper right side down, leaving some on either end. I'm gonna be adding two zipper poles, but you can add them now if you want. It's just much easier to do this without your zipper poles. And then take your lining and add another piece. I'm just using eighth inch this time, living dangerously. And we're gonna sandwich our zipper between the exterior and the lining. So the lining is right side down on top of our zipper. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna sew that together at the full seam allowance. Let me just see what she says, yeah. <laughs> right wrong sides together and we're going to top stitch and baste the edges closed I haven't had any trouble with this zipper tape so I, I feel that it has redeemed itself it hasn't separated or anything, so it must have been a user error. Although I've heard people say they have all kinds of trouble with this, but this has been not an issue whatsoever, so I'm pretty happy about that. So we'll do this side together. And then I'm gonna repeat the exact same process on the other side. Okay. Let's top stitch and so the raw edge is closed. So I'm gonna start here, I believe, yeah. So I can back stitch.
there you go. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna repeat that on fast forward with my other two zipper panels. All right, so you have your zipper panel. Add your two zipper pulls, uh, one going one way and one going the other way. So you'll add it. That's why you have extra on both ends. So now we're gonna add our gussets, our bottom gussets. Exterior to exterior and lining to lining, right sides together on both. Oops. And sew that together at the seam allowance in the pattern. zipper to about a half an inch. Burn that end. And turn that wrong sides together. And top stitch. This is just like any other zipper panel. Okay, and then we're going to bring the other end up, right sides together. And repeat. And lining, bring that up. Now you can base these so you can do one at a time. I think it's just as easy really to do them together. And then let's sew that together. Trim your zipper tape to about half an inch. Burn that end. And turn those wrong sides together and top stitch. On that end. Now, if for some reason your ends aren't perfectly matched here, mine are so close, I'm just going to trim a tiny bit of that zipper gusset, just like that. I mean, I trimmed just a tiny, tiny bit, just to make it even. 
didn't even have to do it, but um, I, I, I did. I did. All right, now I'm going to grab some clips, and we're going to clip our bottom together and baste that together on both sides. This is exactly how you do most zipper gussets. All right, so take your zipper panel gusset, your bottom gusset, put your seams wrong sides together, and let's find our centers on the bottom on both sides and the top zipper. Okay. And now we're ready to put it together. You can start either way. I'm going to start with, I think this is going to be the hardest part. So turn your zipper gusset wrong side out. And we're gonna add centered on the top. Matching our centers, and then I'm gonna match the bottom. Centers. And then we're gonna ease it all the way around. She gives you multiple options to do this. You can staple it. Um, or just clip the corners. And I'm just gonna clip the corners. By half my seam allowance. And you just clip the gusset, not the main piece. I mean, I don't know, we'll see. I don't think we need to. Um... Stay blunt, we'll see. So it fits pretty good, actually. This side. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how this side does. So far, so good. Yeah, it doesn't need to be stapled. I don't, and not in my, not with my materials. I think it will depend on what materials you choose to use. But that really is pretty good. All right, so let's sew that together. Let me see what the seam allowance Just pay attention. This is a little different seam allowance than we've used. So I'm gonna start on the bottom with my gusset up. It's always good to check your seam allowance.
All right, I'm gonna use this blue, blind, blue binding since I'm using blue thread. And so I just take my binding and I stretch it all the way around. And I get it pretty taut. And then I'm gonna cut that. And so now I have a piece for my binding that just matches. Then I'm gonna bring those right sides together and I'm gonna do about an inch seam. That'll give it some snugness when I put it on. And I'm just gonna sew that together. trim my binding so now I have that and then when I go to put it on it is going to be nice and snug and we're going to start on the bottom and if you have any little um, tails of threads get those off you don't want those peeking through your binding. Okay, let's see. You still have to clip it on, but let's see how it does. I'm gonna start on the bottom. And then let's go all the way around and see how we did. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Perfect. It works every time. Every time. Okay, let's clip it and then we'll sew it. actually could have made it a little shorter so I'll snug it up on the other side All right, let's see how we did. Oh my gosh, I didn't miss anything. It is perfect. That's a perfect fold over elastic binding job. Pretty happy with that. All right, let's do the other side and I'll do that on fast forward. So we're gonna add our lining. I mean our outside piece. I am going to just trim this up a little more. So my edge is even. Just make sure your zipper pulls are nice in the middle. You don't want those potentially getting in your way. Oh, and I didn't center. I gotta center my my piece. I thought I did, but evidently I didn't. Center the top and the bottom. Okay, let's put it on. That's right.
All right, so I made this one a little shorter and you can see it just holds on there without me doing anything. You still need to clip it, but this, this is the way it really should be. You want it to be nice and snug on there. All right, let's turn the bag. Love, love this so far. <laughs> I'm just looking at my tops to make sure I didn't uh, miss anything. Now my materials turn are turning very easily, so it'll just depend on what materials you use. Oh my! This is a cute bag, and of course I personally love all the zippers on the outside. Oh my gosh. And binding really gives the bag a nice, these nice corners. Oh my gosh, I don't have any puckers. How in the world did that happen? It's a miracle. Okay, so here's your little zipper up here. And you can poke your lining back down in there now that you've finished, so you don't have to worry about um, catching that. But look at that. Oh my gosh. This is cute. This is a really cute bag. I, I, I was telling that to Tony, and he looked at me and goes, what bag do you make that isn't cute? I said, well, there have been a few. He goes, I don't remember one. I said, honey. He goes, it's just the truth. You like all the bags. I love it. I have to tell you something funny. So, a long time ago, I used to watch The Hoarder Show. I love that show because if I, when I watch an episode, I immediately get up and go clean something out and get rid of things. So, it's very therapeutic for me. Not that I'm a hoarder. I'm not. But um, my dad was. So, my dad was a tool hoarder. He was, you know, a construction guy. He had every... He was more than a tool holder. He had... Um, lots of stuff so every we've started watching that again and um we just watched one and this lady was say i want to save every purse that was one of the things that she hoarded was purses <laughs> what did tony do he just looked over at me and goes hmm do you know anybody like that i said no i don't i thought it was pretty funny all right now, we got to do the strap. Okay, let me get my tools. All right, so with your bag like this, right side up, take your webbing, make sure it's straight, and feed it through your slider, just like that. Put your swivel clasp on. Just like that, they're both right side up. Take your other end, fold it in, Get yourself a little space in here in your slider. Make sure nothing's twisted and feed it up in the middle and back down across that middle bar. And then you're going to, I'm gonna clip mine just to make sure 
that I haven't messed anything up. Okay, so the top of my um, slider is there and my swivel clasp is on perfectly. And then it will slide and nothing is twisted. Okay, perfect. Now, what you wanna do here though is see how this is in that middle bar. Kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get it so you can see it better. So let's see the middle bar has this on it. I'm gonna fold that over and we're gonna stitch that to itself. And I folded it over mm, half an inch or so. And we're gonna stitch that. I'm gonna do two rows of stitching. And you're only stitching this part. So get that all that other part out of the way. Then I'm gonna do another row. Okay. Clip all your threads. and then burn all your threads. And then we are done. It is the cutest little bag. And then you can decide which side you want to so I wear it, mine is a sling on my right shoulder. So I clip it on this side. I'm not gonna make it bigger. It's too tight. This is so cute. Here, let me turn this up so you don't have that glare. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let me turn that, there we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? It's really not big. But you have a nice pocket here for keys, you know, change. And then this pocket is a little bigger. I'll go get my husband's cell phone. And then this one is very deep. So let me go get my husband's cell phone. And, and then you have this pocket up here. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, here is the Bartle B Sling by Unicat's Patterns. This is my first of her patterns. Um, and Katarin, it is a very good pattern. The directions are clear and concise, and this is the cutest little thing. I don't know if this is going to be mine or I'll sell it, but I'm going to, if I don't keep this one, I'm going to make one for myself. All right, so you have three zipper pockets on the front. The top one is good enough for a iPhone 14 Pro Max. It is snug, but it fits in fine, okay? Um, the other two are a little too small for, for an iPhone, unless you have a smaller iPhone. Just saying. Then this is a perfect little pocket for keys, um, a little change, and I think you could actually... Let me see if you could put a little, yeah. Mm, not this one, 
but if you had a smaller little um, sanitizer, you could put it in there, but it's perfect for in this little front pocket. It's in here. That's an actually a big one, but that's okay. Um, then you have a double top closure and you have a slip pocket inside. So if you didn't like that, you could put your slip pocket, your phone on the inside, inside the slip pocket. But there's tons of room in here. I don't have a water bottle in here, but I bet you could fit a water bottle. I know, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see. There you go. Oh my gosh, it is cute. Very cute. Now I used waterproof canvas. I did use a little bit of um, Decaville light on the outside pieces. Um, and that's what she recommends is the Decaville light. And then I used uh, Lux Nylon, bonded Lux Nylon for the lining. So I didn't interface that at all. And then I used webbing. So you have, you can put your uh, silver clasp on either side, depending on how you wear it. Oh my gosh, two zipper folds. And I like these that don't have the zipper right connected to the seam. I just think it looks better. It, um, I think it will last longer. Although I have a, you know, that's how the Louis is made and it's fine. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is adorable. The Bartley B Sling. Bartle B, Bart, Bartle B Sling by Unicast Patterns. Go get the pattern and make yourself one. It's a very easy, really easy. You'd think this was hard, but it's not. She gives outstanding directions on how to do this, and it's really nice. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, feel free to share. Thanks, guys. Bye.